Hey, it's Ryan with Easy Storage Solutions here. Um, today we're going to go through a quick cloud access software demo. Um, so the first place I'm going to show is up here in Setup and Late Slash Lean. So if you're not familiar with this page, basically it allows you to set up any late fees, um, any notifications that go out, um, basically all automatically. So the Second status here that shows locked out and 10 days past due, that's what your actual gate software is going to go off of. So in this situation, anyone who was 10 days past due, as soon as they hit that 11th day, they're gonna be locked out. So they can actually log into your website and make the payment from their end and they'll automatically gain access again or they can pay your manager, and when your manager processes the payment, they'll automatically be unlocked and have access again as well. Um, one thing to keep in mind with our cloud access software is that it's all real time, so you're not gonna run into situations where you have a tenant pull up to your facility, pull out their phone and rent a unit, um, only to have the code not work because it hasn't quite done its sync yet. Um, typically, there's a five to eight minute sync time with other systems. So our cloud access software, um, it's all real time. So you don't have to worry about situations like that. Um, so we're going to show this section over here. Um, right here, you can enable text to open through your software. So if you're wanting to enable that, you would click that hyperlink there, type in an area code, and then it's going to show you available phone numbers. So whichever phone number that you pick, that's going to be tied to your software for text to open as well as two-way texting. Um, you can actually select which access point to enable text to open to. Um, right now you can only do one access point, but it sounds like we are planning on improving that to where multiple access points can be used with text to open. So here you have your open and close buttons um, for each access point. So the way they work is if you click open, it's going to open your gate and it's going to hold it open indefinitely until you click close. When you click close, it releases that hold open command. And then whatever the timer to close is set to on your gate operator, once that clicks down to zero, then the gate's gonna start closing. So open is pretty instant. Close is gonna take around 30 seconds, depending on the setting on your actual gate motor. So down here we have the gate groups. So as you can see, we have three separate groups set up. So this 24 hour access group, that would be for say managers, um, yourself, anyone who does need 24 hour access. And as you can see, they have access to all of the access points. This next group that says gate access only, we'll take a look at the settings here. And you can see there are restricted hours set up for this group. So 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. and they only have access to the entry gate and the exit gate. And then this final group, the indoor climate controlled units, you can see that they have access to both gates as well as the front door of the climatized building. So you can actually set up your software to automatically put a tenant into the correct gate group by selecting which units need to be associated with which group. So as you can see, this gate access only group, if you click units, it's automatically going to assign any of these units into this group with the uh, specifications that we set. So next, we're going to take a look at the gate activity log. So as you can see, there's a date range that you can search by at the top. Um, you can search by a specific customer, and you can even export as a CSV if needed. 
So it's going to tell you the date, the time that they entered, uh, the customer's name. Um, in this situation, it was access granted, and it was at the front door. Um, if there were a situation where someone wasn't getting in, you'd be able to look at your activity log and see um, if they were mistyping, it would show up as an unknown pin. So next we're going to take a look at the rental instructions template. So the way the system works is it's going to automatically generate the tenant a code as soon as they rent a unit. So they can go on your website, pick their unit, and as soon as they pay for the unit, the system's going to automatically generate them a four-digit code based on the last four of their cell phone number. Um, if that number's already taken, then it'll just generate a random four-digit code. And the way that they're going to get that code is through this rental instructions template. You can see at the top here, it says automatically sent after successfully renting a unit. So if we take a look at the content down here, you can see we have gate code, customer access code, pound. Please enter your code and then press pound. So this placeholder here is going to pull their specific code into their email and into the text as well. So they'll get their unique code through these instructions. Um, they can also log in to your website and log into their profile and they can view their code from their profile as well. Um, they don't have the ability to change their own code just because most people would pick something simple that's easy to guess. So we left that up to the managers to um, be able to edit specific tenants codes. Um, so I'm going to show you how to just add just an access code. Um, say you had a, a manager coming over and you just wanted to give them a code temporarily. Um, you can just go up to your customers list, click new customer. You type in the name here. And then create the customer. So once the account is created, you can come up here to gate access. You can type in their access code, hit save. And then once you have the access code saved, you want to make sure that you add them to a gate group as well. Otherwise, the software isn't going to know where they're allowed access and what time they're allowed access. So since this is a manager, we'll put them in the 24 hour access group and save that. So now this code is active and they'd be able to walk up to the gate right now, type in 3344 pound and they'd immediately have access. So that pretty much covers it for today. Um, if you guys have any questions, let me know. Thanks. Take care.